Hey YouTube. Busy, busy day today. I was up at 6, got up, started immediately working on Shark Tank things, went, uh, did some running, went and did some push-ups and crunchies, mm, did not jump into a cold shower this morning, put in the um, corned beef so I could slow cook all day. Uh, we uh, come from a farming family and so we actually got a whole bunch of meat recently. The corned beef wasn't from the, the cow, but it's still delicious. We got it from Costco. And then I uh, went to work. I was at work all day during my breaks. I was working on DTSS things, except for my lunch. I had lunch with my girlfriend. That was nice. And then <clears throat> went uh, uh, talked to Brett twice. Tried to talk to him three times. Didn't end up working like that, but that was fine. I uh, talked to him twice and found out that things are going even better than uh, we were expecting. I mean, still, it's all talk so far, so nothing nothing concrete to report yet, but, um, dude, we just keep getting, just putting some information out there about our company and what we're trying to accomplish and how, we're, how many people we're going to help and how we're going to revolutionize staffing and the dental industry and everything is just invigorating to people it's invigorating to me it's invigorating to brett things are looking very good again nothing's happened yet so not counting any chickens but it's a really good place to be uh to see some of this hard work actually coming to fruition so that's nice um came home well went to the gym legs day good legs day Short, but good. Uh, came home, cleaned, ate the delicious corned beef. Came downstairs, went to work. Uh, got Took care of getting, ad, not ads up, but um, talking about our newest um, acquisition, requisition um, for our, the website. We're going to be doing insurance billing. Insurance billers uh, on DTSS. And so that's a niche that has not been serviced prior to this and I think is really going to coming, be coming on board next week, but getting the word out there now. So that's a good good place to start. Um, oh, we had a, a text message this morning, early, early. Um, one of the people who was interested in looking into being an affiliate is from New Jersey. We currently do not have any clients or candidates in New Jersey. The way they found out about it is their dentist told them, their patient, or maybe their worker, I'm not sure exactly the connection, um, that we were a up-and-coming company. So found out that that came off, or I mean, at the very least, they, they, they found us through Instagram. So really cool to, like, that's a really cool, those stories are really cool for us to hear because... All of this time, we've been putting stuff up. We've been liking things. We've been tagging people. We've been we've been doing everything, but it's taken uh, July until November, eight, nine, ten, eleven, so four months to really start to see the ball rolling on a variety of those courts. Um, Facebook marketing still doing great. The advertising there is still great, wonderful. Oh, tonight we also had to take care of LinkedIn for the final time, hopefully. So, uh, I actually brought it up in the blogs a long time ago. Uh, we got to have a $50, oh, try out the advertising thing, and um, for free, $50 on us. So, we did it, and I would have... I would swear I put the parameters up so that I was just going to spend the $50 and be done. But apparently that didn't happen. And they have been charging us ever since then. When we started in like October 10th or something. And it's on November 15th. And we had only a $27 spending max per day. Um, God, the results were awful. Um, however, I mean, don't get me wrong. According to their average, we were just a little bit below their average for their results. But... Out of $784 or something like that, we ended up getting $111 
clicks and then like 17 that actually went to our social page. Something like that. It was just atrocious. We could get so many more with Facebook. So, uh, that's like the fourth strike you're out for Instagram. I have stopped everything. Um, it was also on a separate page. I don't know if I said that the first page, the, the, and when I went back and checked on everything, that page has been done for a long time now. But I didn't double check on that, and I thought that I'd set a cap, but maybe you can't set a cap on LinkedIn. I, am not, I didn't start a new campaign to try it out. Um, I, I know that on Facebook, it spends the amount you want to be spent, and then it's done. And I thought I'd set up, and I mean, you can set, you can set them both up to like just continue and be continuously, um, rising, but LinkedIn's format is just a little bit more messed up. Ah, pardon me. That's not a fair thing. Um, more predatory and for way lower results in my opinion. Again, if we were headhunting CEOs or CFOs or CIOs, um, for a big company, I think LinkedIn would be the place to be, and I think it would be worth every penny. Because then, paying six eighty three per click, it's good. But just to get a click, that doesn't even guarantee a conversion. Hot garbage. So there you have it, my professional opinion on LinkedIn and advertising through them, and also to try and find to try and find how to get rid of the credit card off the website was gigantic pain and then the other thing is that they make you like sign into like a separate business kind of account thing it's just it is confusing it is not very intuitive it is not my favorite platform at all and i do need to continue to upgrade that account um, i just need to chip it out chip away at it i friended a few more of my friends today but i have not gone through and just friended my entire friend list so I'll have to do that here sometime soon. I gotta get a picture up. So I just gotta I just gotta do those things. I've been busy doing, but I haven't taken care of those, and I said that I was gonna do that a while ago. So just gotta do it and then I gotta friend all my friends and then you know, you just gotta social hoard up. So Oh, and then the final thing I did before I came in here to do this is eleven oh eight. Um was I was finishing a or I made a, the first draft of a timeline for what happened to the company and how the company has uh, gained momentum. I've been doing a lot of research on Shark Tank, and I like they ask a lot of questions about timelines and gross profit versus net profit and um, projections on on how your product's going to do and how it is doing and. And, 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 so I figured that just putting more details down is better. I also think that our meeting story was a pretty cool meeting story. I'm not going to tell that tonight. I don't know if I've actually told it yet on here. I've told it to some of my friends, but anyway, great day. A little tired now, but man, I was, I've been amped all day. So as always, be bold, inspire others, be disciplined, go get some YouTube.